Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's Wednesday, September the 16th, and I hope your day has been blessed. Well, below this video, you'll find a link to some discipleship opportunities that are being featured this fall in our church. I want to thank Teresa Dunn, our Minister of Discipleship, for her leadership in this area and for assembling these opportunities. I also want to take this opportunity to celebrate all of the members of our church staff and the ways in which they have been so adaptable to and under these special and difficult circumstances caused by the pandemic. I'm so impressed with the ways in which they continue to um, pour themselves into their areas of ministry, doing their very best to serve Christ and our church so faithfully. So as I said, I wanna lift them up today um, and celebrate them and their commitment to our congregation, to our church and its ministries. Adaptability is something that um, we are all um, required to do when we are facing um, times such as these. And uh, it reminds me of the Apostle Paul in his second missionary journey. Um, in the 16th chapter of Acts, um, Luke, the author of, of Acts, along with the gospel bearing his name, writes the following. Paul and his companions traveled throughout the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been kept by the Holy Spirit from preaching the word in the province of Asia. When they came to the border of Mysia, they tried to enter Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them to. So they passed by Mysia and went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, come over to Macedonia and help us. After Paul had seen the vision, we got ready at once to leave for Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. So Paul was attuned to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And um, in that regard, he was adaptable. He allowed God to lead him into new ways, to new places. And in fact, this was a very important moment in the uh, spreading of the gospel because Macedonia was Europe. And so this is when um, the good news of Jesus Christ was carried into Europe. And it was done so by God's leading through the Holy Spirit. We're so grateful that Paul felt led by the Holy Spirit in that regard. And each of us as followers of Jesus Christ also should be looking to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I pray that I will always do that and that our church will as well. May God bless you.